Hey lovelies, it's Imogen aka Mr. Mo Insane and welcome to my video. So today I'm going to talk about planners, more specifically my sister's planner. Now of course I have a planner, here it is. Um, it's a personal size and I, and I love it, but of course because I have one, my sister wants one. And so here it is. I made it in secret. She, just, she now knows about it as of about half an hour ago. And she's over the moon and she wants it, so we're having to film this video right now so she can have it. But yes, anyway, without further ado, so it's an unbranded A5 planner. I'll put a link in the description as to where I got it from, which was on AliExpress. And they had these in pink, this sort of pastel -y baby pink colour. They had it in a, the similar blue. They had it in a bright pink, a bright orange, a black and a white. And it was about £10, including postage. And I just think it's brilliant and absolutely love the pattern on it. And I made this planner band and I made it a left-handed one. And I included this pen, which I got in a pack of four for, I think, about £2 on eBay. And if I can find the link, I'll put that in the description as well. And then I used this uh, Me To You, um, it's actually a Brad that I've had in my stash for probably about six years now. <laughs> So I wanted to try and get as much into here as possible. And um, yeah, so without further ado, I will open her up. And it just has this little flip up and then this bit opens up. So this is the inside of my, sorry for the glare, sister's planner. So if I just pop my planner under there, so hopefully it prevents some of the glare. Now this does sit open like this. It lays flat. I really like how it does that. Um, I will talk about this charm that I made later. Um, but first of all, let's talk about my sister a little bit. So I wanted to, to mention that my sister is left-handed, um, as I previously mentioned with the left-handed pen loop. And also she has dyspraxia. Now I'm going to raise some awareness for dyspraxia. I'm going to put some information in the doobly-doo. So first of all, dyspraxia is also known as DCD, which is Development and Coordination Disorder. It's basically a motor functional problem. It's lifelong. You don't really get better from it. You can improve from it, and it can affect children and adults. It affects people in many different ways, but like I say, it is mainly a motor disorder. Uh, similar to that, uh, the effects of like somebody who say has cerebral palsy or has suffered a stroke. Uh, similar things to that, and as I said, it's a coordination problem and it can have, affect people in different ways. Um, so as far as we know, my sister was born with it and she struggles with it. And because of that and other things, she's not had um, schooling like most children would. She had to go to schools that would better benefit her. And because of this, she's also going to be homeschooled to start in September because she's going into secondary school, or she should be going into secondary school um, and she would just struggle. So I wanted to create this planner with that in mind so that she can also use it as a study-based planner. So with that said, I will put the information to dyspraxiafoundation.org.uk in the information box below so you can get more information on dyspraxia, DCD, Development and Coordination Disorder, um, and how it may affect you. You may not even know that you were affected by it. Um, and it may not be until much later into your adult years that you actually get diagnosed. However, it is a really big thing that I think people should raise awareness for and definitely look into. So that's that's a start. That's always going <laughs> to So onto the planner. So the planner itself, um, I use a project life card here that says lovely darling. And then just this paper clip here. I created this notebook that fits into the side pocket um, for her YouTube ideas because she's wanting to get into YouTube. And I've had this fabric material, sticky back fabric, in my time for the longest, in my stash for the longest time as well. So I decided to use this. And that just fits in this really big pocket here. Now the pocket doesn't go through to the other side, um, but as you can see, there's the other part of the planner band in here, which is white and sparkly, but I don't know how well you can pick that up. I put this little um, cream cake notepad so she can write some quick notes down if she wants to, just in the front here. And I also got this paper clip, 
Um, I wanted to do the theme sort of like pastel colours, so not particularly sticking to pink or sticking to one particular colour. Here I did, if you saw my washi storage video then you will have seen me do this, and I just put some washi onto this card and stuck this in here so that she can use this, have some washi on the go. I also altered up a piece of acetate and stuck some of these little oh, upside down some of these little page flags on it so she can use those and they are more like sticky note type things and that just slides oh, sorry I'm trying to do this <laughs> around the tripod that just slides back in there and looks pretty this is just um, I added it onto this picture um, which just slid down a little bit so let's pull it up um, it's just me, my sister, my brother, and my sister's mum and dad, or my mum and stepdad, so which is my sister's mum and dad. Um, and then I altered up this bow, uh, which I bought. It's a gorgeous girl bow, and I stuck it onto a, I glued it onto a hair beret, which I am either, depend, I think I'm going to upload that video next weekend on the tutorial I did for that. And then this is a digital painting that I did of my sister. And I did this painting last year of her, and I am available for digital painting commissions, and I will put links to my Facebook page about that in the dibbly dip. And so I just created this acetate sheet, which is just two pieces of laminate together. I printed out this picture that I painted of my sister, and I laminated that as well. And then this first page, um, it has her name here, and then it just has like a really pretty... Um, her name, our address, contact details in case um, anything happens to her or like she needs to get hold of anybody or anything like that. And then obviously the Filofax personal information because I got some Filofax inserts, which, yep. And then I created this for passwords because my sister is notorious at creating an account and something, forgetting the password, so creating another account. So I made her some of these which just say um, site, email, username, password. And then here's just a blank, a blank page. And then I made this over glittery dashboard and I stuck these sticky notepads onto it and on the other side as well. So it's a double sided, very shimmery dashboard for sticky notes. And this is page one of the inserts, which is calendar. And I've had these papers in my stash for about six years and they come from the beautiful collection. And I don't even think that that's even still going anymore. I have no idea, but if I can find it, I will put the link in the link information in the description, but I know I got it in a goodie bag in the range forever ago. So I'll put all that information down below as well. So this is a calendar section and I backed both sides. So I cut out two sheets for each side of the insert, glued them together and then laminated them. So I am, I've got the week on two pages and I only put in from August through to January. Um, sorry, that that's just this side, the, that's this, the, the insert I think is. So <laughs> I laminated one of these um, Hello Kitty sheets from a Hello Kitty notebook and then I made these calendar pages and I just pr punched a Project Life card and put that in there because I know my sister likes the whole hugs and kisses, X's and O's and so do I. Um, so it's just calendar sheets that I put in there that goes through to January. The next one is Diary and again it's back double sided. And I just put in like this holidays page and here's the diary that's the, the um, week on two pages, sorry. So she has this, I have this set up and I use this as a diary. So I'm hoping that she'd be able to use the same and start getting into writing down some things about her day and how she's feeling and maybe even some of her coursework stuff or homework or whatever it is she has to do. Um, so this is just literally a diary section. As I said, it goes from August through to January. And then this, the next divider, uh, yep, divider, which I I forgot to mention that I did these with my brother lab, label maker, so you can just pick them off and put new ones on. So this one's a study, and then of course it's backed. And then I have these sheets, which run from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., so I figured they'd be perfect for writing down like a study schedule. And then the weekends are mentioned, but not so much like this bit Saturday, this bit Sunday. So she could write down like what she needs to read or what she needs to write or what she needs to study. Um, her lesson plan with, because like, as I said, she's been homeschooled. So her lesson plan with that, like the, what she's doing at what time. 
and I figured that may, I don't know how it will work. I put it in from August through to January and we can get her some more in December, January if she feels that this is a system that's working for her for schooling. Then I have this section which is to do and I printed out this because I did the July one and I loved it. So thank you, Paper Heart of God. And I intend to do the August one and I didn't know if my sister might want to jump on that bandwagon with me and do the planner thing. So I stuck that in there just in case she decides that she wants to do this. Um, this is also where I stuck mine in my to-do section on the back of this file uh, on the back of this divider. And then there's just some of these to-dos, uh, which we can print out some more sheets. And then, sorry, this section is blanks, which I have that section as well. And in here there's just some shopping lists. These, this was a big list pad for, that I got from the power shop, and you can see my power shop haul. And then there was a mixture of plain and squares and lined file effects and other papers. Here again it's just a blank page, uh, a blank, what am I on about, divider. Uh, it just says everything else. So in the back I put contacts. This is from, this particular sheet is from um, the fairground collection and I'll put that in the link below and it was a 12 by 12 as well. So then there's just the file effects contacts pages. So I put a few of those in there because I didn't know if she would need those. And then there's these um, card divide holder things. Um, I think it's from Collins. I will put a link in the information below. But you get three in a pack and they fit in the A5 file effects, A5 planners, um, A5 um, like just regular A5 binders. They fit in so much different things because they have like different holes here. And it's really useful. And then it has this little section here, which I'm not quite worked out what that's for. And it is only single-sided, so you'd have to flip things to be double-sided if you want. So I just included a little stack of um, Project Life cards or them kinds of cards, which she can journal on or punch or include any way that she likes. So they're just in the back here. And she can put whatever she wants in here. And I didn't want to over-declarate this too much because I wanted her to still feel like she had some creative brain on this. And then I cut down a poly pocket and just put some of this plastic tape on both sides and then include some various stickers. So there's some bow stickers and there's um, various little stickers in there. Heart, circles and Hello Kitty. This isn't actually in, it's just covering up this. This pen loop is awesome, you can fit so much in it, but when you put a pen in it, you can't shut the folder because it makes all these pages crease, and it was seriously affecting the planner. So I literally just put that over the top, and I've done the same in mine, um, just as like something decorative here, so it wasn't all brown. Mine's black, hers is white, and it's all very glittery and sparkly. So that is what I've done for my sister's planner, and it is quite chunky, quite full. Um, she could take the notepad out, and when you take that notepad out, there is so much more room. Close that. There's so much more room then for putting more stuff in. She could easily fit more in there. But I've stuck this in here, which is a bit chunky. And yeah, so then that's pretty full, and you can see how full that's getting. And then, as I said, I was going to mention this charm that I made. Um, I do make make and sell charms and stuff and um, bracelets and all that kind of thing and we're not focusing there we go um, so I just included a W for Wendy which I bought separately um, and that was I think it was 99p including postage for just for that because it was a necklace pendant and then there was the Sylveon charm that I got in a pack of Pokemon charms which was a little bit expensive but my favorite my sister's favorite Pokemon was Sylveon up until about an hour ago when I was informed it's actually now something else. But hey, it's, it's happened now. And then I included all pink, purple, and blue, um, including some Swarovski crystals, all these little crystally ones. Um, they're all Swarovski crystals, um, which I included on there. And then, so yeah. So that's my sister's planner charm, and I just hung it on one of these clasps that twizzles around. It's a it's like a large lobster type clasp with a twizzle. And then like this phone strap and that attached to the top ring on the inside as you saw here. So if she's like it generally hangs on the outside and it hangs up and down and around. But if she's wanting to go somewhere she can stick it in 
there so it doesn't get tangled and close. So then that charm is on the inside and it's not catching on anything. So that is my sister's planner. I know she loves it. She literally screamed and told me I was the best person ever. <laughs> so she loves it. And um, I hope you guys liked it as well. So thanks for watching. All right. Bye. Also, just to mention that I am including um, some various mixed paper clips for her so that she can like mark her pages. And I'm waiting on some paper clips to arrive in the post as well. One of these J large jailer's rings with a mixture of washi tape on it. So the, uh, these washi tapes are for the spotty set. They are two pounds in the works. And also these are two pounds in the works. And if you saw my the works online haul, you will know I got those. I also bought one of these for a pound on eBay, which is a single hole punch, and it's also the one that I use. So I'm including that as well. I have a white one, and I believe they come in white, blue, pink, and yellow. However, when you buy them, they send you a random color. I'm also including this really large file folder for aiming at her school, somewhere to put some of her school supplies or her homeschooling supplies. And then I'm including some of these pens, one of these multi-pens, one of these packets of page flags, so that Hello Kitty notepad, and then there's a whole bunch of more planner stickers in there as well, which I'm also including. And for some reason, there's another Jayla's ring in here, but she might as well have that. She can get more washy that way. And then I just have these large sticker books, which I don't know if you'll find useful. They are so shiny. Um, but I got the reward sticker book, the monthly planner sticker book, and the kids planner sticker book. And to be honest, they really are quite childish. I don't know if they're perhaps a little bit too childish. Um, but I figured it was something better than nothing. And so I'm going to include those that she may be able to incorporate into her planner or she might find them a bit childish and not want to use them, which is fair enough. That's entirely her choice. So that is just some extra goodies that I'm including for her. And I'm hoping that this can fit all fit in here. And the paper clips too. And the hole punch. The whole punch <laughs> and yeah so and that is all that I'm gifting to my sister my sister did do really well in her last school um, she went to a free school and she just did amazingly well so I wanted to give her a reward for doing so well and something to aid her towards what she's doing in the future since I actually got my plan out I have been so much as a disabled person, I've been so much more proactive. Um, I've got more organized, I've got more things done, I've been able to worry less and stress less, and I suffer with anxiety and depression. And having this and being able to write down um, everything, I mean, I have like a calendar and a to-dos and a diary section and a personal section, blanks and everything else. So I set mine up very, very similar to my sister's. The only difference is my sister has a study section and I have a personal section for like, um, all my like my weight and like weight and gym stuff and all that kind of medical kind of stuff which my sister may or may not need or we may do an entire another section for that but we'll see how things go i've kept you for far too long i love you i want to say thank you to everybody on planner addicts uk who have just been so supportive and given me so much ideas and i will put that facebook group in the link below because you've all been absolutely amazing and if you're not already follow me on Instagram, I will also put my sister's Instagram in the link below so you can follow her as well. And I love you all lots. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.